Okay, I've got this um, Acer Z3 720 board and it's got a short circuit somewhere or at least something drawing a lot of power. And I wanted to demonstrate just how cool this is, even though it's not cool because I've got to find the fault and I've got no schematics or board views. But uh, here's a good case against using a heat camera. Okay, we're going to just drown this board. Looking good. This is on the 3v3 line. I'm going to plug this in. Let's watch the magic. Okay, that, that's cool to start with, but it gets better. You can see a trace coming out there. Come on, you can do it. You did it before. Ah, let's try to wash it over. Look at that. There's so much heat it can't even... Ooh, what's going on over here? That's interesting. One thing I can't work out is exactly where... Well, I have a feeling these parts here are only victims to the short. They're not actually the short. So I'm just trying to find where the real short is. It's a lot of power, whatever it is. It's a good 10, 12 watts. You can see it's tracing all through here. I can pretty much do the board view just by looking at the uh, where that current goes. Uh, I gotta find a way of doing this power switching something somewhere really got a decent size short nothing over there it's all warming up there Could be in a board short, God help us. That'd not be the CPU. Getting high just on the bloody fumes. No, oh, that's not good. I've just kind of noticed where it's all coming from. This area here. Which is uh, the North Bridge or something, PCH. Of course it's the PCH, why wouldn't it be the PCH? Given the way that's heating up, I think it's the PCH. And the amount of residual heat it's holding. And the fact that it feels very warm. God damn it. Why? PCH, why? Yeah, that's... That's pretty... Indicative, indicative, indicative that we've definitely. I mean, look at the discoloration on that baby. Wow. That's, uh, yeah. Okay, that's cooked on good and proper. I wonder if, wonder if one of these caps might be at fault. How would you even fix that? Can you even fix that? Okay, here goes. Fuck yeah. He was not a happy chappy then. Found it. Just isn't where we want it. <sighs> Crud. That really sucks. Uh, 
Mm. It'll be a bit hard to tell the difference between the caps and the cooked junk. I wonder what caused this. I wonder how long it's been doing this. Maybe it's just been slowly stewing over a while. Or maybe it just happened and then... Yeah, oh, that's a real mess. Am I knocking caps off there? Doesn't feel like it. I certainly think it's fair to say that this one will not be returning to service. Shame. It's a nice computer. But uh, everything is totally baked. I know someone's going to just tell me to re-hot it. I measure those caps around there. I mean, I'm not, they're not going to do anything, but I'm curious to see. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's a dead short there. That's pretty normal. That's close to a short, as you can go. And that's short. And that's short. Yeah. Although, of course, that could be an inductor, but I'm pretty sure these are caps. Yeah. That, that's ruined. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to pull that off. See what's going on underneath. It's all literally baked. Let's have a look at that again one more time. Uh, baked PCH. Yeah, she's out of control. Damn. Oh well, there you go. Well, at least I didn't spend too much time on that. It was only about half an hour to strip it down and everything else. Be curious to see if I can get a replacement board for it. Just outright. Um, anything, of course, is I don't know if the CPU is dead or not. And I think, what is this? This is an i7 CPU in this one, too. Oh, well, we'll leave it at that. Sorry it wasn't a fix, but I just thought you guys would be interested in seeing that.